so chrome os flex or fido os which one to install in this video we will find out so watch it till the end so starting with the installation process you can install both of them using the chromebook recovery utility which is a chrome extension or uh, alternately you can download their installation file and then use uh, programs like polynature on linux and windows or rufus on windows to flash it now coming to the look and feel the chrome OS flex follows the material you design and we have the option to change the accent colors according to the wallpapers and you can find these options in fido os as well but uh, there is some settings you need to do and both of them you can find similar collection of wallpapers uh, but in chrome os flex or chrome os we have the screen share options uh, which have these dynamic photos and weather forecast and time which looks really cool these are not available on the fido os and also material design which was there in the latest update as they have showed on their website was not working for me we need to actually enable some flags to actually get this but i did that so maybe they will fix it in the later updates but yes material u is there in fido s and the biggest uh, advantage of fido s is the support for the google play store which needs no introduction as we get access to millions of applications and games that you can play but we also have the fido s app store and this gives us access to the web apps that we see on the chrome os flex additionally we can sideload android applications so we can just directly download their apk files and then from the file manager double click and then install it directly so this gives you an alternative to google play store so you can basically download these applications from any website of your choice and then directly install and use them and also the social media apps that you use on your phone like instagram or snapchat whatsapp telegram you can use all those applications on your laptop so this gives a, a little bit of flexibility as well and not just android applications you can actually play games like i am doing here with uh, free fire so definitely android applications and games gives fido as an advantage over chrome os flex and between these two if you're looking for android os then you have no other choice but to go with fido os but do remember that you need to use a controller or touch screen to play these games as the keyboard mapping is not supported uh, but both of them the chrome os flex and fido os support the linux applications and they are a whole world on their own we have the linux app store which houses uh, a lot of applications ranges from a lot of genres like productivity tools games and on both of these os we can install the steam application which gives us access to a lot of pc level games so you can just search for linux titles and all the games that you see under those titles you can actually directly install them and play them and if you already have some games in your library they will show up as playable if they are supported like i have this metro last light and i was able to download and and actually play it right now and right now i'm screen recording so it's kind of laggy but it's very much playable if you're not screen recording anything and also depends upon your system as well and also on the both of the os you can actually install uh, vine or play on linux to actually try out the windows applications like i've done here for the word microsoft word and this comes under the ms office 2010 version so only older versions will work so right this mx excel from 2010 so all of them work on both of them so you can actually activate the linux and then install these applications so the default chrome on the chrome os flex is better we have the multiple account support just like we do on linux and the windows you can enable the lacrosse uh, flags for that but even though if you enable those flags on fido os the multiple account support will not be enabled but actually you can install the chrome os or brave browser anything from the linux terminal so this is not uh, much uh, of an issue but yes by default you cannot actually access that but we have the option to use the multitasking options to snap the windows side by side so this is a really uh, useful option that you need to enable and you can use on both of them the fi file manager is kind of similar on both of them but on the fido we have some different options like we have the android files just like linux files for the linux uh, the android applications and files and we also have something called the file drop and this is useful because we do not see the google nearby sharing option so that uh, google chrome os has that advantage over it well you can definitely use alternatives to the nearby sharing like many linux applications or android applications 
but uh, apart from google play store you will not find google services like the android phone hub or the google assistant it may be because the fire os is running on android 9 so it could be that issue of uh, some kind of compatibility issue even though i tried manually installing some bigger g apps packages but this did not work so if you're looking for google services you will not find it here also for OT updates fire os actually charges you for any major OT update so you cannot install the uh, them over the air um, for that chromos flex is your go-to choice because you get instant updates there settings for both fire os and chromos flex are pretty similar with uh, very similar options but we have something called the fire os settings which has options like creating backups so we have we can create full system backups and restore it so in case if you want to update it manually which uh, does result in you losing your data you can restore it using it uh, if you have saved it to an external drive so this is a really handy tool and you do not have to pay for the updates you can you, but you have to manually update it other than that the settings are quite similar now coming to the performance uh, the chromos flex performs really great and over the time it has improved and become much smoother um, but if you have to comp and compare it i find find os to be a bit more uh, faster because uh, it has less bugs and less crashes and on Chromos Flex, I have encountered some random reboots or certain crashes, but FireOS it has been a much better experience. So in that term, I would say FireOS is kind of stable. Now Chromos Flex comes directly from Google, and which is a known and trusted name. And both Chromos Flex and FireOS are based on the Chromium project. And uh, so you can look up the codes for the even FireOS. We have the open file. And FireOS is fairly popular and they also have their Fire Tab Duo which is a, a FireOS based tablet and white tablet. So yes it's not an unknown brand and it has gained some popularity as a great alternative to Chrome OS and Chrome OS Flex. So here are the pros and cons for the FireOS. You can read them and decide and also for the Chrome OS Flex. So personally I like the FireOS better a little bit and i do not mind the manual updates i do it all the time but that may not be the case for everyone so that was it for this video make sure you leave any questions you have in mind in the comments so like subscribe and i'll see you in the next one thank you for watching